Hello, my name is Steve M. Nash. Welcome to another month's Monthly Marvel. I'd like to talk to you today about a Mark Twain quote that I've never heard of until the last couple of days. He, I've heard his quotes about golf and other such funny things. But this quote about love, mm, I really like it, so I thought I'd talk about it today. When you fish for love, bait with your heart, not your brain. When you fish for love, bait with your heart, not your brain. Mark Twain. Yes, those words about love that I'm sure you agree with completely. I'm sure you'd never even think that you'd ever do anything else but bait with your heart, not your brain. And, well, you'd be wrong, actually, if you're being honest with yourself. And I hope you are honest with yourself. I think you'd be wrong. I think most of us bait with our brain. Our heart is far, far too delicate to put out there without some kind of protection, without some kind of wondering, thinking, checking. Is everything going okay? Where are they? Why haven't they replied to my text message, my email, my phone call? What's going on with them? Do they like me? I said I love you and they didn't, they paused before they replied. We're thinking, thinking, thinking. We're thinking in all our relationships, but we're thinking about our love, our loving relationships. We're making sure that it's safe. And we think thinking stroke worrying is the best way to stay safe. It isn't. We think it is, but it isn't. You can't be safe in this life. Things happen. You get your heart broken. A relationship doesn't go the way to, where you want it to. It's painful, or it can be, whether you break up with somebody or they break up with you. It's, it can be painful. But that's, that's how life is meant to be. The heart is meant to feel pleasure, love, overflowing love, and it's meant to feel pain. And all we do when we guard ourselves from future pain is we just make the present moment unpleasant. We worry, you worry, I worry. And all we're doing is poisoning our, our moment. We're making our relationship less. We're baiting, we're fishing for love with our brain. Whereas, when you fish for love with your heart, you think less, you worry less, you feel love, you feel their love, you give your love, you give your best, you enjoy the ups and the downs, but you enjoy you feel so much more when it's good and yeah it feels bad worse when it's when there when there's some sort of issue but you feel the relationship much much more and really if you do life like this your life is going to be better but definitely romantic loving relationships your heart can take it 
the ups and the downs. It loves feeling love, joy. It can cope with the pain of heartbreak, the pain of disappointment, which may or may not happen. There's a much better chance of a relationship working out when you use your heart as a guide rather than your head. You just give more and you trust that whatever happens in the relationship, and it may not go the way you want it to, you trust that you'll be okay. That is what I say, anyway. And you may disagree with me. That's your prerogative, obviously. Please share comments where you see this video, whether you agree or whether you disagree, with the words of Mark Twain, which go like this. When you fish for love, bait with your heart, not your brain. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.